Well, the UC Santa Cruz police anticipate thousands of individuals taking part in the unsanctioned gathering. So to say the least, they are a little outnumbered. And with so many people, their overall goal is to make sure everyone is safe. Porter Meadow on the UC Santa Cruz campus is empty today, but Thursday this grassy field will be filled with thousands of thousands of 420 celebrants. I don't really know what to expect. I know that I've heard everyone goes to the meadows and you know, sparks up, so I mean that's what I'm expecting. UC police don't really know what to expect either. It's not necessarily pot they're keen on. Last year, 25 individuals were cited for possession of marijuana. 125 were cited for traffic violations. Two people arrested for possession of a loaded firearm and another for possession of a knife and a club. Our primary focus is public safety, uh, but we also want to make sure that, that with included in that public safety, we don't miss anything. I mean, I think it's good that they're there just in terms of like safety. I think a lot of things can go wrong. I feel like a lot of kids aren't just smoking weed. Campus police have sent out an email to students, staff and the community about what they can expect from Thursday's gathering. DUI checkpoints will be set up. Bus service on the campus may be delayed. Parking on campus will be strictly enforced. 420 is a tradition on the UC Santa Cruz campus, and a parody newspaper has written an article about it with giant fans looming over Porter Meadow. It is. We like to play off of, of current events and especially things that happen on campus, and that's a big campus tradition, so we like to make a lot of jokes about that. For UC police, it's not a laughing matter when it comes to this smoke out. I, I think people are just thinking it's a big party or a big celebration, but there are some negative impacts that, that come along with that. And it's expensive. Officers from all 10 UC campuses will be on patrol tomorrow at a cost of $100,000. Dan? All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Phil. UC police have also issued cease and desist orders for two local dispensaries for selling marijuana products on campus last year.